Once you get through the chaos of the airport, you can decide to either grab a coffee at Timmy's or Starbucks and wait for your flight at the departure gate, or you may choose to visit one of several airport lounges. Today we're going to walk you through two of the Plaza Premium lounges in Terminal 1 at Toronto Pearson Airport. Hey everyone, this is Nancy from New Travel Escapes, and with the current revenge travel chaos at the airports, a lot of us are choosing to show up really early for our flights in order to have plenty of time to navigate the crazy long lines for everything at the airport. If you have extra time, you may choose to buy a pass to an airport lounge. Today, we're going to show you two of the Plaza Premium lounges in Terminal 1, so you can get an idea of what these lounges have to offer. No one wants to waste their money, so we're hoping this video helps you decide if the Plaza Premium Lounge is worth it for you. Let's start with the Plaza Premium Lounge U.S. Trans Border. This is the lounge that you have access to if you are traveling from Canada into the USA in Terminal 1. We chose to visit this lounge before we boarded the plane for our trip to Hawaii. At the time of this video, the lounge is open from 5.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. This one is a small lounge located close to the departure gates and has seating for up to 66 guests. In the room off to the left of the lounge entrance, guests can enjoy comfortable sofa chairs that feel a bit more private. The bar is located straight ahead when you walk in. House wine and beer as well as a few liquors are included with your lounge pass, provided it's after 11am of course, and if you want to upgrade your bar choices there are additional fees. There is open table seating to the right of the entrance. There are washrooms located in the far corner. There is a small buffet with hot food items, soup and salad bar, and hot and cold beverage machines. The lounge has high-speed Wi-Fi, newspapers, and magazines available. The food was pretty good, nothing fancy or special, but it did fill us up before we boarded our 12-hour flight to Oahu. Currently, a lounge pass can be reserved online on the Plaza Premium website. Adults are $55.80 and children 2 to 11 are $39.06, including taxes and service fees. Children under 2 are free with an adult. There are often promo codes that you can find online to save you a bit of money when you reserve. There are also Plaza Premium lounge passes available to certain credit card holders. Now let's have a look at the Plaza Premium Lounge International in Terminal 1. This International Lounge is located across from Gate E77 on Level 3 and you can access that by stairs or elevator. This lounge accommodates 110 guests and is 2600 square feet, so definitely bigger than its transporter counterpart. It is open daily from 5.30am to 10pm. This lounge is definitely brighter and more airy feeling. It has an open ceiling over their main seating area with glass walls overlooking the gates below. There is a small buffet area with local cuisine, soups, salads and desserts. Again, the food is pretty good, nothing special, but it did the job of providing a meal before we boarded our flight. This time we are flying to Cancun in the morning so they were serving breakfast items. There's a specialty coffee and tea area, as well as juices, fountain drinks, beer, wine and spirits if you're there after 11. Again, upgrading your spirits of choice above the house brand has additional fees. There is a much larger seating area and the seats were comfortable with Wi-Fi and power ports. Was it worth it? Well, that's difficult to say. If admission is a perk with your credit card, then of course it's a no-brainer. Why not? You've already paid for it with your credit card annual fee. If you're going into the lounge during breakfast time, then you should know that no alcohol is served at any lounge before 11am. So when you do the math, does that make sense for you? If you're visiting for breakfast, then does $55 make sense for a coffee, sausage and eggs and a comfy place to sit? For me, probably not. The same $55 after 11 a.m. for a couple of glasses of house wine, salad, butter, chicken, rice with coffee and dessert, 
Well, that might make a bit more sense, mathematically speaking. All in all, it's your choice, and we just want to give you the facts so that you can make the best decision on where to spend your vacation dollars. We hope this is helpful in your vacation planning. Subscribe to our channel and check out all of the places we visited, either these trips to Oahu or Cancun, or the other places we show you. See you soon, everyone, and have fun planning your next vacation.